G'day and welcome back to the Weedy Garden up on the hill where we learn by doing, doing experiments. Remember on the last video I said that uh, I'd try and plant some seeds in some compost soil, like on a 100% pure compost that I made in 21 days. So I'm going to just get a little bit of this and, um, and sieve it so I can use some of it for seedling soil. I'll let this seedling mix sit for a while before I use it. Mm, let me have a smell of it. Yeah, that smells like a fresh forest in the morning. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to save this for the seedlings now. The thing is, you see, I've, I've got this one here with the compost only. You can see compost only. And this is seedling soil bought from the shop. Look. See that? That's a little a leg bone from a cane toad in the compost. So that's 100% compost and that's 100% compost. And you can see already here the, the cucumber is coming up just like the cucumbers are coming up over here. And um, these tomatoes are coming up. I've got all my summer seeds planted here. See there in that little tray, for example, the cucumbers over here, they're coming up and so is mine here in the compost. And this is the compost here. And um, this is the basil. I do have a, a little list. So I wrote a list down of, of all the things that I planted and, and which cell they are in. There's another, another test here I got. I planted some broccoli seeds. I know broccoli is not supposed to be planted now, but I had tons of those. But that's 100% compost. You can see they're all coming up. But this is uh, soil from the shop. They seem to be coming up. The ones that are coming out of the compost seem to be bigger. They seem to be bigger and healthier. And then I've got 50-50 here. And they're all coming up as well. So you can plant your seeds directly into your compost after 21 days. But we'll keep looking at those and see how they're looking. So that shows me that you can plant directly into the compost, 21 day compost. And another thing that I'd like to mention on the video where I made the bacteria juice, the soil bacteria, um, I mentioned that after you blend your ingredients, for example, your comfrey and your coffee and your kelp, and you put that in. What I said would happen was that it would float to the top and you can just use the tap and, and drain the stuff out, but it's the other way around. The sediment actually, when, once you blend it, and the coffee, it'll settle to the bottom. So I've let it sit for a month, and then I strained it out. this in the compost okay this this is just um, coffee grounds and comfrey and seaweed mixture it's all gluggy now but the compost is gonna love that and then I'll uh, then I'll rinse this out and then I put my juice back in and clean my bucket and then I put it back in again so now it's just pure juice and it's been, because it's been sitting for a month, the bacteria have eat, eaten all the, all the ingredients. And I can take it from the tap. Easy, you see? Like that. Beautiful smell. Same with the banana. Okay. Day one of the experiment where I'm trying out the bacteria juice that I've made with the coffee, the comfrey and the kelp. And um, here I've got the same plants without anything. I'm just going to be watering them with water. And both plants are about the same size. Here I've got three giant tomatoes and two yellow watermelons. Same here. Day one. So another thing, uh, I've got a little giveaway on this video. The guessing competition, well, it's actually a fact, a fact competition. I'll take you outside in a second. The winner will get a free ticket to my movie. And if you're a new subscriber and you haven't heard about my movie yet, check this out. Long gonna live 
All righty, so I'll take you outside. So the, the fact competition, it's not a guessing competition, it's a fact competition, is to see how many times you can see where the bandicoot has been digging in my garden. In Australia, a bandicoot is kind of a huge big rat kind of thing that has teeth like a crocodile and claws like Edward Scissorhand and it digs in the garden looking for worms. So when you put compost and get your bed all prepared, uh, for your vegetables, then the bandicoot's going to come and visit and dig it all up again. So I have had to figure out a way to stop that happening. But anyway, can you write in the comments how many times you can see where the bandicoot has been digging in this garden bed behind me? I'll give you a little tour. We start off here. And by the way, just as I can chat while I'm walking, you're just looking for the bandicoot where the bandicoot's been digging. Um, I've put, I've laid compost that I made on this last video. I've put all that on these, on these garden beds, and I've covered it up with wood chips after that. And then I've planted my seedlings in, and I've got more seedlings coming. Can you see where the bandicoot's been digging? Corn coming up there. A couple of plants waiting to go to seed. And the last bed. Can you see where the bandicoot's been digging? Just write it in the comments. You look closely now. You can see. So I'll give everyone that gets the right answer, everybody who gets the right answer, will get a free ticket to my movie. All you gotta do is leave a comment with your answer and, um, and I'll contact you by email, okay? Just to give you a little hint, I'll just turn the camera around. That's the hint. That's the hint. All right. There's another hint. And just another little hint there. I don't know if you can see that there. Well, that's it for this video. Nice little short one this time. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something. And just remember, it's, it's all about having fun while you're in the garden experimenting and learning along the way. It's not about reaching an end result. The result is your enjoyment all the way through. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.